As America pauses to remember September 11th, heroes in our own backyard. Tell us what happened that day made them want to serve our country. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer reports from the remembrance ceremony at Fort Bragg. We will never forget these wreaths front and center as Lieutenant General Michael Carrillo speaks to an audience of first responders and military members coming together to remember the lives lost September 11th, 2001. Men and women died that day. You know, almost 3,000 American civilians, 343 firefighters. You know, they ran into those buildings. You know, those guys gave their lives for other Americans. Sergeant Clayton White was just eight years old, watching the horror unfold from school. That day, he decided he would one day serve our country. I think that kids today and future generations need to know about this day. Teaching new firefighters about line of duty deaths is something Fayetteville Fire Department Captain Stephen Shakeshaft does on a regular basis. In my recruit academy, we discuss a line of duty death every single day. Every day we remind them of the cost of this job. Captain Shakeshaft became a firefighter in 2002, in large part because of the heroes he saw just a year earlier as he watched from Pennsylvania. It really hit home when the plane went down in Shanksville, which was about two and a half hours from where I was. Uh, realizing that it can happen anywhere. The wreath lane ceremony wrapping up with the 82nd Airborne Division firing party and the playing of taps. It's very important that we teach the next generation not just how to do things, but why we do them. And 9-11 taught us so much. The 12th of September that day, it didn't matter who you were. You came together as an American, and I think that's how it should be every day. Reporting at Fort Bragg, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News. You can see local 9-11 ceremonies and tributes, including pictures and videos on our website and our CBS 17 news app. It is so hard to believe, Mars, that it has been